Hello students! I hope you are doing fine. This is Teacher Teen and I will be discussing to you a new topic for this week. But before that, let's review some important points first. Last week, we talked about the different guidelines in raising animals in the backyard. We talked about on how can you properly take care and how you can provide the proper maintenance for chickens, pigs, ducks, and tilapia. Before we start with our discussion, I want to show some pictures to you. This is the first picture and this is the second picture. You have to compare these two. Which of these two pictures do you think is safer and proper if you're going to raise animals in your backyard? If your answer is the second picture, you are definitely correct. Sanitation and safety practices in animal raising must be observed in all aspects of raising small animals. Germs that cause diseases thrive well in dirty, wet, dark, and crowded cages and pens. Keeping the whole area clean will maintain animals' health and ensure better profit. From the pictures that you saw in the previous slide, our topic for this week will be Proper Breeding and Sanitation Practices in Animal Racing. And here are our objectives. At the end of the discussion, the students must be able to identify the steps in breeding backyard animals. Second, determine the ways on how to maintain the cleanliness and proper sanitation of backyard animals. Third, appreciate the importance of maintaining the cleanliness of backyard animals. What is animal breeding? When we say animal breeding, it is the process of selective mating of animals with desirable genetic traits to maintain or enhance these traits for future generation. For the first part of our discussion, I will be discussing to you the different ways on how to breed animals. First animal that I will be discussing to you are chickens. If you're planning to breed chickens in the future, you have to do the following. First, make a research on the laws or policies to legally raise chicken in your backyard. Some areas have strict laws while others do not allow raising livestock animals. Second, ensure that you have the proper tools and equipment to build a house for your chicken. The chicken coop must be spacious enough if you plan to grow your flock. The third one, obtain a rooster to fertilize your hen's egg. A rooster is an adult male domesticated chicken. The rooster must be in its prime breeding condition. It should come from a good breeding stock and you should have one rooster for every 10 hens. For the fourth one, decide whether you would incubate the eggs yourself or allow the hen to raise her chicks. Letting the hen raise the eggs will result in about 3 months of lost egg production. 21 days to set and hatch her clutch and another 2 months to raise her chicks before she starts laying again. For the fifth one, acquire a broody hen. A broody hen is a chicken that is willing to set on the eggs for the entire incubation period. For the sixth one, provide an incubator if you are planning to have a large number of eggs to incubate or to sell. Incubators provide a quiet, safe environment for eggs. An animal that we have are pigs. If you're planning to breed pigs in the future, you have to do the following. First, is you have to buy good purebred boars. When we say purebred boars, these are the male pigs. Second, is you have to buy above average crossbreed sows. Crossbreed sow are the female pigs. 
third. You have to select sows for mating that are at least 10 months old and the boars should be at least 8 months old. For the fourth one, you have to breed the pigs during each fertile period until pregnancy is achieved. The gestation period is about 113 days. When we say gestation period, it refers to the pregnancy period for pigs. For the fifth one, you have to treat and vaccine the mother pig for worms and lice before babies or piglets are born to prevent the newborns from being infected. For the sixth one, keep the pen clean and sanitary. Clean it regularly with a mild cleanser so that infection and disease will not spread from the pigs to the newborns. For the seventh one, gently wash the pregnant pig before the piglets are born. And for the last one, keep accurate records of the growth of the pigs. Next animal that we have are goats. If you want to breed goats someday, you have to do the following. First, analyze the qualities of your selected goats to breed. Analyzing the goats perfectly will help you to determine whether the goat you have can be bred successfully or not. Second, a doe gain maturity and become suitable for breeding within its first year of age. A doe is a female goat. You should not breed a doe before its first birthday to get better quality kids and other goat products. For the third one, a buck is a male goat. A buck generally mature and becomes ready for breeding as early as 6 to 8 months. For the next one, for successful breeding, you have to find a healthy and strong buck. You can search for the right buck in your area or any existing goat farm within your area. Next, prepare your doe for becoming successful in goat breeding. Health condition of the doe must have to be very good and you should never try to breed any weak or ill doe. For the sixth one, a doe generally enters into the gestation period after fertilization. You need to take extra care of your doe during this period. The fourth animal that we have are ducks. In breeding ducks, you have to do the following. First, keep the correct number of drakes to ducks. A male duck is called drake and a female duck is called duck. Keeping too many drakes with too few female can cause injury to the female as they can be mated too often. If you have too many drakes, you can keep them in a separate pen during the breeding season. Second, know the mating season. When you say mating, it is the process of breeding pair of animals. While some domestic dogs will mate year-round, the typical mating season goes from late winter through spring to early summer. This is the most likely time that your ducks will show mating behavior and lay eggs. Third, watch for mixing breeds. Based on our previous discussion, there are several breeds of ducks that can be found here in the Philippines. Relating it to breeding, ducks will typically mate with any other different breeds of duck and if you want to create particular crosses you must keep breeds separate that you don't want to mix in for the fourth one calculate the number of ducks to be mated this will depend on the number of ducklings you want to produce for most breeds one duck can produce around 100 ducklings per season fifth Ducks should mate for two weeks before collecting eggs for hatching. This will allow the ducks proper time for mating and result in high fertility in the eggs. It also gives the ducks and drakes time to settle down into mating. I'm done discussing to you the different ways on how to breed animals in your backyard 
Let's proceed now to the second part of our discussion, which is the sanitation and safety practices in raising animals in your backyard. The grounds, habitat, or animal cages, equipment, and most especially the feeding facilities must be kept clean at all times. All this must be scrubbed and disinfected. And these are the following things that you have to keep in mind. First, you have to select animals that are young and disease-free. Second, you have to clean the house or cages very well. Sanitize the water containers and feeding troughs. Third, spray the interior and exterior of the house with disinfectants. Disinfectants are chemical substances that kill parasites and disease-carrying germs. Vaccination and medicines should be given to backyard animals. Fifth, scours or diarrhea may be prevented. Scours is a diarrhea in livestock, especially in cattle and pigs. Scours may be prevented by adding antibiotics to the drinking water of the animal's race. Keep in mind, sanitation and safety must be observed in all aspects of animal racing. The grounds, habitat, or animal cages, equipment, and feeding facilities must be kept clean at all times. Alright, since we are done with our discussion, it is now the time for us to check all the things that you've learned. Before we end our discussion, we will be having a short activity first. Here are the instructions for our activity. First, Students will be given 10 seconds to answer each question. All questions must be answered in their Helen notebook. Students are not allowed to look at the previous slides while answering. And lastly, everyone is encouraged to answer all the questions honestly. Without further ado, let's start our activity. For the first question, what is the gestation period for pigs? Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is 113 days. Number 2. True or false. Providing an incubator to your chicken is important if you are planning to have large number of eggs to sell. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is true. Again, an incubator provides a safe place for eggs. For the third question, male goats are also known as blank. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is buck. Fourth question, true or false? A male goat generally matures and become ready for breeding as early as 9 to 10 months. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up. The correct answer is false. Again, a buck generally mature and becomes ready for breeding as early as 6 to 8 months. For the last question, true or false? It is important to keep the same number of drakes and ducks. Your 10 seconds starts now.
time is up, the correct answer is true. And there you have it. I hope you learned a lot of things from our discussion. Don't forget to congratulate yourself for your great work.